Let's just deal briefly in the principles of negligence, because in essence, lack of informed consent will lead to litigation based on negligence. And what's negligence? What is negligence in the context of professional psychiatric practice? No physician in any area of specialization is obliged to demonstrate that level of skill appropriate to the top, to the leaders in that particular speciality. Uh, the case law has held that it's sufficient if one demonstrates the skill applicable to the average practitioner. So you don't have to be the dean of the psychiatric department at UCT. Uh, on the one hand, other hand, and I'm seeing, I don't know who she is, but uh, on the other hand, uh, you, you, you can't demonstrate uh, the skill of the lowest level of practitioner wherever he or she may reside. So it's the average level of, of, of skill. As to what is negligence, well, that's, that's, that is a test which is adopted by the courts. And very significantly in South Africa, uh, the Supreme Court of Appeal has held that the court, the judge, or the judges, they decide what's negligence in a professional context. So even though um, there may be X number of expert witnesses for a plaintiff, an X number for a defendant, the court will decide what is negligence. And negligence will be determined according to the levels of skill in the profession at the time and in the particular circumstances. Now there's been some case law in South Africa which, which is quite troubling, which has held that if these services rendered, for example, in a small plot line town, it's appropriate that the practitioners do the best they can with equipment which is available and the circumstances applicable at the time. Many see that as the thin end of the wedge to say, well, inferior medicine is okay. And why should uh, the same level of skill be provided everywhere? Uh, the other side of the coin is to say, well, if you have a, an intern at the Pompeius Kloof local community clinic on a Saturday night dealing with uh, axe and panga attacks and he or she has been on duty for 26 hours already and, and he or she is doing the best they can with what's available, can you blame them uh, for failing to pick up fetal distress in a woman about to give delivery and not realize there was an impacted shoulder uh, or a breech position, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and to do an emergency DC? So there's that flip side of the coin. Everything, as I started off by saying, everything relates to context. And as long as the physician has done his or her best with what's available, uh, the courts will not hold you liable.